As we all know, in 2023, three specials are being made to commemorate the show's 60th anniversary, with David Tennant once again reprising his role as the Doctor. However, did you know that a concept like this was already attempted in the 1990s? However, this time it would have featured Tom Baker in the lead, reprising his role as the fourth Doctor. This is the story of the Dark Dimension, the 60th anniversary, and how there's some similarities and differences that are interesting between the two. But hey, if you enjoy Doctor Who content and you want to see more of it, feel free to subscribe. We're trying to get to 20,000 as soon as possible, so any support would be greatly appreciated. So for those of you who are uninitiated, you're probably wondering, what the hell is a Dark Dimension? And honestly, good question. Dark Dimension was a Doctor Who project in the 1990s intended to commemorate the show's 30th anniversary. It would have been a VHS release and was intended to be a final thank you to fans for their years of support after the show got cancelled. The central plot of the Dark Dimension would have revolved around Tom Baker's fourth Doctor getting plucked out of time before his eventual regeneration in Legopolis by a villain called Professor Hawkesburg, who intended on using the time distortion to not only bend the political realities of the UK to his will and take over, but also used the time energy to recreate some of the Doctor's most iconic foes, in particular the Daleks, the Cybermen and the Yeti to name a few. And the plot would have essentially revolved around the Doctor trying to reverse this nightmarish future that's been created by Professor Hawkesburg with all of his time meddling shenanigans. Now you might be curious, okay, why was Tom Baker selected to lead an anniversary like this? Well, it was because at the time, Tom Baker was seen as the face most associated with the Doctor Who brand. In a similar vein to how it could be argued that David Tennant is the face most associated with the brand today. So therefore, it made sense to the higher-ups to have the fourth Doctor be the focus of the story with the other Doctors appearing in cameo roles, something which famously John Pertwee and Colin Baker were not pleased with. With Colin Baker saying, quote, I did have time to read the script, but there was no discussion after that. The next thing I heard, it had been cancelled. I had one discussion on the phone with Graham Harper in which he tried to put my reservations at ease because I was slightly concerned that there seemed to be within the script as written a certain inequity as to the distribution of the work involved. It seemed heavily centred around one Doctor and the other four were very peripheral. The story itself would have also been pretty dark, opening with the death of Sylvester McCoy's seventh Doctor as well as the death of Companion Ace, both of which do eventually get revived but Ace getting the Donna Noble treatment with her memories of the Doctor being completely erased. And I personally find the Dark Dimension fascinating for the similarities between it and the 60th anniversary. Both are set to commemorate anniversaries featuring the most beloved Doctor of the time. Both seemingly involve a villain that is going to be responsible for reverting the Doctor to that past face. And both will see cameos from legacy companions, characters, and villains, and will probably culminate in the damage being reversed. I think there are a couple of key differences between the Dark Dimension and the 60th anniversary, however. For instance, unlike with David Tennant, Tom Baker wouldn't have played a new incarnation. He would have played the fourth Doctor, as I mentioned, being pulled out of his previously established timeline. Now, obviously, I know there are some people who don't like the whole David Tennant being a new incarnation thing, as they think it messes with the numbering, which I understand. Personally, I don't mind the numbering too much, as I feel that it was always kind of arbitrary ever since the War Docs came along, but I personally prefer that to the idea of a Doctor being plucked out of their timeline and being it made so that they were never not the Doctor. So basically, the events of Logopolis aren't finished, and Tom Baker would have continued being the Doctor forever in this alternate timeline until it got reversed. I think the idea of making a previous Doctor a new incarnation makes more sense because it also indicates towards the future. And as we know, the 60th will be followed by Shuti Gatwa's 15th Doctor, whereas with the Dark Dimension, this would have been the final time in which we'd have seen Doctor Who as a whole thing. Or at least that's what the people who were involved in the production of the Dark Dimension would have assumed at the time. Another key difference is tone. Obviously, from what I described, the endings for certain characters who aren't Tom Baker, for instance, aren't the happiest. And it could be argued that by doing that, it could have been seen as somewhat disrespectful to their previous runs. Like imagine if, for example, the 60th anniversary opens and you see the 30th Doctor's corpse and Yaz's memory gets completely erased. There is one key similarity though that I think is particularly interesting. That's the similarity between Professor Hawkesburg and who we assume to be the Celestial Toymaker. 
I say assume because whilst it's 99% that he's going to be the toy maker based on set filming and costume design and stuff like that, it's not been confirmed. However, one thing I do find interesting is that if you look at the 60th anniversary filming pictures, you can see posters dotted about with all different dates, implying that much like with the Dark Dimension, there's going to be something that's gone wrong with time or the universe that the Doctor is going to try and have to correct. And I feel like in both cases, it's probable that the villains have something to do with the Doctor's unexpected change to a prior face. Unfortunately, the Dark Dimension was never made due to budgeting issues, However, fans have gone to efforts to recreate it, but I'd be genuinely curious to know, which of these approaches do you personally prefer to an anniversary special? And do you think the Dark Dimension may have inspired the 60th anniversary in some way? This is slightly different to some of my previous content, so thank you for sticking around. This is some of the stuff that I'd like to make going into 2023, so let me know what you thought. Please like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you later.